Hi, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Uh, if you're new to the channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. Okay, um, I'll just leave it at that. I'm glad to be back. I know some of you probably saw my post. Uh, I was visiting my hometown in California, family and friends, and yep, we had an earthquake. <laughs> I was sitting in a restaurant and we had an earthquake. Uh, kind of surprised me. I hadn't felt an earthquake in a long time. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the storms, okay, but I survived it all. So thank you uh, for those of you. I saw a lot of people commented some very nice things protection prayers and things like that i appreciate you so cancer my beautiful cancerians uh we're gonna do your love reading i'm actually gonna do it differently today i'm gonna do past present future energy we'll see what the energy shows here for you cancer so let's see what my beautiful cancerians need to know we're gonna cut the deck as we always do we're gonna do past present future all right so okay so this is the past this is strength. This is I can deal with whatever comes my way. This is Leo energy. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay, looking good there, Cancer. Very attractive. And then we also have here um, the Death Rebirth card, okay? This talks about letting go and embracing new beginnings, right? This deck's a little bit different here, okay? So some of you, a lot of you may be single here, or some of you just may be in an energy where you're feeling very creative, passionate about life, or maybe things you're doing in your life here, okay? The strength card here, this can also talk about forgiveness. Some of you may have had an ending. You know, some of you may be working on forgiveness here with someone. Let's see what else is on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. We also have here the star energy. we got Aquarius energy. And this is says I'm inspired and positive about the future. Okay, things coming into balance. We also have the full card here. It says I am guided and protected on my life journey. Okay, so Cancer, there feels like a coming here. There is some sort of new beginning that's about to happen for you. I feel like moving into this new beginning, Cancer, like you're feeling really good. You're feeling passionate. You may be feeling very confident. Some of you may be like changing your looks, looking good. Very. This is a very attractive energy. And, um, you know, strength. You've In the past here, you've been through a lot. And as I said, for some of you, this may be about you uh, kind of making good with the past and letting go, um, you know, forgiving here, okay? Some of you, it could be, right, taming the inner beast here, okay? Not giving in to maybe uh, desires or passions that you had in the past, okay, when it comes to love. But I see um, a new beginning here about to happen for you, Cancer. So let's see uh, what the energy shows. Let's start with the past energy. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Please uh, show Cancer what they need to know regarding the past. Please show Cancer what they need to know. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Ace of Cups just flew up. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, yeah. And we have the Devil. Now that Ace of Cups, um, I don't normally read reversals, but it did come out in the reverse. Okay, so I'm going to take it in the reverse. I feel like there was someone from the past, Cancer, that was not offering, right? They either were not offering their love emotionally, or this is someone who was... Um, not offering their cup of love, okay? Because we also have here the devil card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like there was somebody, this could be someone who was toxic. This could be uh, someone here who, you know, they were more about the passion, the intimacy here, okay? Somebody, I feel that maybe you had a hard time letting go. I just talked about, you know, that strength card, right? Not giving into desires and passions. I feel like on an intimate level, this could be someone 
that um, you felt very passionate or is a very temp a temptation here. We got the Six of Wands here and we have the Two of Pentacles. You could have even been dealing with somebody, you know, because I, I always say there's two people here um, in the Devil card too. This could be someone who there was, you know, a third part energy, someone who was juggling, someone who got a lot of attention. Uh, but I feel like this is someone that you've kind of made good with whatever happened okay someone who was not offering their couple love to you cancer yeah look at that we have the death rebirth card scorpio energy it could be someone where there was an ending uh, in a connection between you and somebody here and you know the strength too i feel like you you know it's an energy you may have stopped giving in to um, a temptation here with someone because they weren't offering okay all right, so I was going here. Um, I didn't even get to say what I wanted to say. We got Pisces energy, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles. So this feels like somebody who wasn't able to make a commitment. You were always questioning whether this person was going to offer you something more is what that energy is showing me. So let's see what's in the current energy, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What else can you share with Cancer? Okay. We got the Knight of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Oh, boy. And we have the Knight of Cups. Now, it's interesting because we have two Knights here. Um... But I feel like it's one energy. I don't feel like this is more than one energy. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here, and we also have here the Three of Swords. Now, I see someone here. I see communication. I see somebody reflecting, whether this is your person or you. But we have uh, the Knight of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups here with the Queen of Wands. So again, like I said, your energy feels very attractive, very confident, good looking, right? Maybe you're working on yourself here, especially with that star card. I feel like there's somebody coming your way. There, and again, there's some sort of fresh beginning. There's some sort of new start here with somebody. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it could be this person from the past. Some of you, there could be two energies here with these two knights. But the Ace of Swords is telling me here there's there's some sort of new clarity, okay? A fresh start, a new beginning, whether it's with you or somebody else. So I'm going to clarify these nights. We will see what the energy shows. Let's go into, as I said, okay, look at that, Eight of Cups. So you may be moving on, maybe pursuing other offers, you know, or you know, walking towards your happiness here, your Nine of Cups leaving something that was just dissatisfying in the past but i'm also going to say here this could be somebody who is thinking about you somebody may be feeling like you're walking away right they may be seeing you walking away doing your thing here feeling passionate about life but um we're going to go back to this we're going to clarify so let's see what the okay <laughs> the strength card yeah your strength has gotten you through your strength has gotten you through. Leo energy. Some of you may have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with a Leo. But let's see why uh, the death rebirth card is. This is about new beginnings. What can you tell Cancer about new beginnings here in the future? Okay, we got Justice, Ten of Swords, and the King of Wands. Okay, oh my gosh. Three Knights, Cancer, Knight of Swords. All right, Cancer, I feel like I have to say Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. I feel like there's somebody coming towards you. I feel like it's somebody that you had an ending. I mean, it's showing me plain and clear here. You have the Ten of Swords, Justice, and you have the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
someone wants a new beginning. I said that I, I see someone reflecting, thinking about things. This is someone getting ready to take action. Look at that. There's the counterpart, King and Queen of Wands here. Someone I feel that you're very compatible with, okay, maybe intimately, okay, but it also can uh, just be in general. Got Libra energy, uh, justice here, someone wanting to make things right with you, Cancer. So indeed, there could be two energies, but I feel like there's some sort of new beginning. Now, some of you, it could be, this could also be a new person. Some of you may be done, okay, I'm done with this past energy, right? As I said, I, could, I we may have two energies here, but let's clarify these knights. Okay, I actually want to clarify this devil first. Let's clarify the devil. And I'm just going to say, because I read uh, the cards in relation, this could be someone that's a, a temptation for you. Okay, someone who could be a charmer. This could be a charmer energy. Tell me more about this devil card. Tell me more about this devil card. Okay, we've got the ace of wands. There's that wand. <laughs> Knight of Swords, interesting, Knight of Swords, right? And we also have here the Eight of Pentacles, okay. This is someone who didn't offer much. Now, it could be they were somebody who was emotionally unavailable, okay? In the past, so to speak, depending on how long it's been, but this could be someone who misses you, Okay, someone who wants the opportunity with you. you have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this feels like this is someone who was not very consistent in your life. It does feel like this is someone, right, they were just looking for a casual opportunity, I feel, in the past, okay? Or they were someone who... Um, who ran, okay? They only let things go so far. It only grew so far, okay? And um, I'm going to say two for some of you. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This could also be somebody who is a workaholic, somebody who is just worried about their money, somebody who, you know, their big focus was their money and their finances. I'm picking that up, that energy as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean that, you know, this is someone who, you know, just wanted intimacy. This could also be someone they were more about the material things. Okay, um, they were driven more um, with their work than they were in love. Now, I'm going to clarify these two knights. Tell me more about this knight of wands. Tell me more about this knight of wands. Tell me more about this knight of wands. All right, got a five of swords, three of cups. Yeah, there it is, devil. This is someone I feel who gave in to temptation, okay, a third party situation. Okay, there could even be the temptation could be addictions, it could be, you know, other people, you know, even their work, like I said. Okay, so this is definitely showing me some of you, it's a third party here. I'm I'm picking up this fire sign. Okay, so a lot of you it could be a fire sign or someone who would fire in their chart. Let's see uh, why the Knight of Cups is here. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Got Capricorn energy here too. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Okay, oh my gosh, the Knight of Cups again. High Priestess. Seven of Swords. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. All right, well, Four of Swords. They've been thinking a lot. I feel like this is the same person, Cancer. This is someone. They've been doing a lot of thinking here. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone who, as I said, they see you as a Queen of Wands, but they also see you as a Queen of Pentacles. This is someone I feel they're thinking about you. They're thinking about your worth. Okay, maybe they've seen a, a big change in you. You know, not that you've changed a lot, but maybe they've just seen that you're not giving to this to this anymore okay you're focusing on you you've had the strength to not give in to the temptation with them and that's really made them think is what i'm sensing you have the the knight of cups the high priestess the seven of swords okay i feel like some of you this could be an apology i also feel like there could be some sort of secret something that this person is hiding with this uh ace of swords you know some of you you know could be something here about a third party 
or something that they maybe the the secret is they had some sort of addiction or they were giving to something unhealthy or toxic in their life there was definitely an energy here as someone too maybe being selfish they weren't considerate of your feelings cancer but there i feel like with this knight of cups there's something that they want to say or they want to apologize i'm going to clarify this knight of cups let's see what that is Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What does this person want to say? What does this person want to say? Hmm. This feels, you got the Hierophant here, and you have the Two of Wands. Tell me more about this two of wands. Tell me more about this two of wands. The moon card. It's almost like this person wants to express why they couldn't make a commitment. Tell me about this moon. What's hidden? What's hidden here? Okay. What's hidden here? Three of Pentacles. Well, this is someone who had doubts here, okay? With the, what you haven't seen from this person is that this is someone who is now seriously thinking about the future, okay? This is someone who is planning, like I said, they're seeing your worth here. We have the Fool here, too. I feel like this is someone who's coming towards you who... Um, who didn't want to be in a relationship in the past or they were someone where there was a third party and they had doubts about this connection with you and them, okay? And unfortunately for some of you, this is someone who may have been tempted, okay, with this third party energy. Now, some of you could be addictions. That could have been what prevented this connection too, but... Let, tell me more about the moon. Why was this person, okay, I wasn't ready for this, but we got the five of pentacles. I also see the five of pentacles. You know, this could be someone who had abandonment issues. But tell me uh, more about the moon. Why was this person uncertain or doubtful about a commitment? Nine of wands and the ace of swords. Yeah. This is someone, they, they definitely had their walls up. I feel like this is someone who had abandonment issues here with you, Cancer. Even though you were very giving, that's probably why they were very uh, drawn to your energy. But this is someone I feel they were in protective mode. You were dealing with someone in protective mode, okay? That could also be, if, the, if this person has an addiction, that could be why... Uh, they they uh, drink or, you know, whatever the addiction is, okay? They're trying to protect themselves. Doesn't make it right, whatever they did here. This is what they couldn't tell you is what I feel here. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Page of Wands, Lovers, okay, yeah, they have regrets, Four of Cups, I feel like Cancer, you were dealing with someone, there was more than one offer, um, you know, there was more than one person here, okay, when you were seeing this person, or you were with this person, there was a temptation around your person, okay, and it feels like they have regrets because it feels like they made the wrong choice here. And this is someone now who's real, who's realizing that. They're having that epiphany here with the Ace of Swords. With this Page of Wands, I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication from this person. But I don't know if you, you know, you're going to be receptive to this person because I feel like this is someone, I feel like they did something very hurtful here okay very hurtful 
it feels like this is someone where there was an ending between you and this person. Now, we see in the future here, we have the Ten of Swords, the Page of uh, the Justice, and we have the King of Wands. So this person's getting ready to take action. It does feel like this is someone who wants to make things right. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Okay, interesting. We have a Queen of Swords and the Chariot. We have your energy. I want to get another one. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Okay, look at that. Ten of Swords again. Five of Wands. Six of Cups. And King of Cups. That could be your energy too, Cancer. With that King of Cups. Or it could be Scorpio. But let's see what we get here. Definitely got your energy with the Chariot. Well, this person definitely misses you. It shows here that they miss you. Like I said, things ended because of some sort of interference here with the Five of Wands. I told you the king. I see the king uh, thinking, contemplating here. They're thinking about what happened. They miss you here with the Six of Cups, right? I feel like, too, with the Queen of Swords and the Chariot, they're not too sure if you're going to be open to communicating Okay, because I feel like they know that you're going to want to know, okay, more about what happened, okay, what happened with this situation, because I feel ultimately there is something here that caused um, the ending here between you and this person. Tell me about the justice, and I'm going to say some of you could even be a divorce or legal separation. Tell me more about justice. Okay, we got the four of wands. We have the strength card. And we have the star, okay. Yeah, and look at that, Ten of Pentacles. Well, I have to say, this person wants to make things right. It shows here Four of Wands, the Strength card, Star card, Leo, and Aquarius energy. This is someone gaining the courage to come towards you. I feel that this is someone who regrets a decision or a choice or giving into some sort of temptation with somebody. They want to make things right, okay? Not too sure, right, if this person's wanting a relationship, but I do see the four of wands. This can talk about stability. We have healing here. Some of you, it's a twin flame. But I feel like somebody wants to bring balance back to this connection. I'm going to ask, um, let me use this deck. What's this person's intentions coming towards? cancer right maybe that will tell us but like I said there was the ten of pentacles and we have the ace of wands so this could be someone who's trying to manifest you back in their life they want uh, a stable relationship okay and in here's the four of pentacles they don't want to let go it may be too little too late cancer for some of you but what is this person's intentions coming towards Cancer? What is this person's intentions coming towards Cancer? Huh. I just said they don't want to let you go. They want to hold on to you tightly there with the four of coin. There it is again. Uh, Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're seeing you as confident. They're seeing you too as ambitious. Some of you may be, you know, uh, really ambitious right now in your career. The Hermit, they've been doing a lot of soul searching here, Virgo energy. Ace of Coin, okay, they want to build that foundation with you. New abundance here, okay, they want a new beginning. Seven of Wands, it's an all-in determined energy. This is someone coming towards you here, okay. I feel, I, I'm feeling and hearing like, this is what they're thinking about. And I said it over here. This is someone who is getting ready. Yeah, six of coin, all in, determined. Someone, I feel, who wants to be more generous than they were before. They have something to offer that they couldn't offer before. High Priestess here, okay? This is decisive intuition. 
and page of wands, they're planning here. Okay, they're planning the communication, uh, Cancer. So I feel like you got someone here. Basically, they couldn't offer a whole lot in the past. This is someone, you know, I almost get, you know, like I said, someone who had abandonment issues. Somebody I feel at the time, they were lacking what they really needed to be in a relationship. This is someone who, you know, in a nutshell, I feel took you for granted, Cancer. But I see this person planning and they're coming back around. They've been doing a lot of soul searching here. This is someone who realizes that they didn't give because the energy is like the reverse now. They're coming towards you wanting to give. They want to be all in. But the, the big thing that was lacking here, Cancer, is that this was somebody in the past with this Ace of Cups. They couldn't give it all. They, they couldn't give emotionally. They probably were somebody who could have given financially, right? If, you know, if your person was in a good place financially. But this is someone I feel emotionally. They were not with in, within, uh, what am I trying to say? They were not with, they were not at peace with themselves to be able to give you what you needed, Cancer. That's why they were drawn to you because you had emotionally what they didn't have. But I feel that's changed. Okay, let's see what we get here. All right, now we have free, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So this could be your person here, really stuck in their head and their thoughts. And they may have been that way when you were with them. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And getting to know each other. So this is someone who I feel in the past there was not a whole lot of movement. And that may be why things ended, whether it was you or your person. Okay, it was just a stuck energy. And so Cancer, I feel like you are in a good place here and you may be very open and optimistic about, you know, just in general what could come into your life, not specific to this person. We do have a past life relationship. You've known each other before. So this is, again, someone you have a very strong connection. We have, it is safe for you to love. Okay. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So you were dealing with somebody who was very guarded. Okay. I talked about their walls being up. They couldn't give emotionally. Feels like, too, with the past life relationship, this may be um, a life lesson that your person needed to learn and you Cancer, maybe both of you here, okay, with a past life relationship. There may have been some life lessons here. And that's why things were not moving forward, okay? I'm also going to say here, some of you too, um, you know, I talked about the intimacy. Some of you may have jumped into the intimacy really fast without getting to know this person. You're right. And um, a lot of times what happens when we do that, we're not building that strong foundation, so there's an opportunity for you and this person to come together again to build a strong foundation, whether that is friendship or that is in love. But let's see what the love oracles have to say. Okay, we got travel. Okay, so this can talk about distance. It can also talk about boundaries. Some of you, this could be someone who lives at a distance or there's just distance, but you may have set your boundaries with this person, Cancer. Yeah, because you felt you deserve better. The grass is greener. This talks about deserving better. Now, this also could be someone, as I said here, they may have uh, made a wrong choice. Maybe they thought there was a better option. You have intuition. Let me pull. Uh, this card maybe your intuition is telling you that maybe there is a better option for you but this can also talk about um maybe you knew there was a third party situation going on okay we got look at that faded meeting yeah it it's that connection that you have with this person 
is bringing the two of you. It's that past life connection. Some of you, it's a twin flame because I do feel there was twin flame energy here as well. But it's that energy where I feel you and this person, it's fated for the two of you to come together again. You have that connection. There's something about the two of you coming together. Um, you've learned a lot from each other. I feel your person was not ready at the time. So let's see what uh, the, in, the, this person's intentions are. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What is this person's intentions coming towards cancer? What's this person's intentions coming towards cancer? Okay. So we have here the hangman. Got Pisces energy there. Got the three of wands. Okay. I feel like they're having some sort of epiphany here about the future. Okay. Again, picking up fire energy there too. Seven of Wands, that's that all-in determined energy, okay? That someone wanting to overcome obstacles here. High Priestess. Your energy, Cancer, Pisces. Four of Cups. You know, I keep getting like a secret, Cancer. Let me get another one. Six of Wands. Okay. I feel like Cancer, this person's coming towards you. But the reason why I feel there's been some timing, Two of Swords tells me, you know, a stalemate here or, you know, this person has held back from making any decisions or communicating. Again, we're seeing the Five of Cups regrets. So I feel like, and you know, we have Sagittarius energy. I feel like what's going on here, Cancer, is that you got somebody here. They're having some epiphanies, right? I feel like some of you, this could be someone who went through, you know, some karma, okay? Possibly in another relationship, but this is someone who is having some epiphanies, which has really made them think about the future, Cancer, and they've made that, you know, they made them think about you, Okay, this is someone they're trying to make their way towards you. This is that same energy, you know, it's buried here, the seven of wands energy. This is someone who is, is all in and determined where in the past they could have been somebody who, you know, lost their courage, okay, or they weren't feeling confident to come towards you. However, I feel like with the high priestess, now, I'm going to read this two ways. Some of you, they may really pick up on your, your intuition. You know, they may know how intuitive you are. That may be very intimidating to this person. You know, I definitely get intimidation energy with this Four of Cups. But for some of you, I feel like there could be something unknown. I talked about it earlier. Like there could be some sort of secret or something that they need to say. They need to express to you. And it could be a, multi a multitude of things, but this is makes this person very um, hesitant, okay? And they're worried here. They're worried that you may reject them or they could miss the opportunity with you, okay? But, you know, intention-wise, Six of Wands, they're wanting a victory here. I also see the Six of Wands as a relationship. I really feel like this is someone who is seriously thinking about a relationship here, but either there's some sort of secret that they have to tell you or I'm sensing that this is someone who knows you're very intuitive and it's very intimidating to this person because they know they can't lie to you. Okay, that's the great thing about Cancerians, okay, is that you can never lie to a Cancerian. A Cancerian will know right off the bat, okay? So, Cancer, this feels kind of heavy, <laughs> Feels kind of heavy, um, deep here, right? But in the nutshell, Cancer, I feel like you're doing good. I feel like you're in balance. I feel like you're very attractive. I feel like, you know, no matter what happens with this, I feel like you're more confident than you were when you were dating this person or with this person. And I, I feel like, too, you're not going to let this person hold you back or make you feel stuck. So let's see, um, but this person's coming towards you, Cancer. It's a matter of time. 
tell me more about uh, what guidance you have here for Cancer. Oh, look at that. So you have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people and spend more time socializing. Okay, Cancer, they're telling you right now, just go out, have fun. Be with friends, make new friends. This also can be, you know, as I said, a, a chance for you and this person to build a friendship, right? And then you can see where things go from there. But um, I feel like this is about you getting out, having fun, right? Not waiting for this person, right? They're gonna come around when they're ready. You also have here compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free and see the light in yourself and others. Okay, so this is about having compassion, not just for this person, but for you. Okay, and that helps you be a light to others. It helps you, um, you know, see the light within others. Okay, especially if you're going out there and dating, right? Not everyone's going to be the same as, as, as how things transpired with this person. Okay, and then you also have your flow, which is very important. Okay, telling you to go with the flow, right? No, whoever it is, you know, I even talked about jumping into intimacy too soon because it's hard to build a solid foundation with somebody. Okay, I know it sounds old fashioned, but there are reasons why. Okay, find um, an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, and release your expectations. Yeah. Because you can't get hurt, right, if you don't have those expectations. You can have standards, you can have boundaries, right? But going into it, right, don't put those expectations too high or you may disappoint yourself, okay? And the last card I'll leave you with is balance, which you, you had here with the star card, okay? I feel like this is a time for you, Cancer. It says take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, and set boundaries, okay, with, it, with your work, okay? Whatever you're putting your time and attention to, they're telling you to set boundaries. So if it's in love, it's love. If it's work, you know. So Cancer, I hope uh, this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.